In part one of this series, I covered my decision to leave home, sell everything, and go off traveling in my caravan. And I also covered the first step of finding the caravan to travel around South Africa in. Now that I had the caravan, it was time to make a plan and begin the work to turn the thing into my new traveling home. I wanted all the comforts that I was used to, including satellite television, internet service, a nice hot shower, a comfy bed, and all the other things that I was used to. I made a list of everything that I wanted, and then I figured out how to do it. Firstly, I took off all the cupboard doors and painted the cupboards white to modernize the interior and to make it feel larger. Don't forget I was coming from large house living and my brain didn't really believe that this tiny living thing was going to work. It takes a while to adjust one's thinking. I also put new modern handles on the cabinet doors and did an installation of 12 volt down lighters to light the caravan which I'm very happy with as they provide a beautiful ambience inside the caravan at night. I had decided to put the fridge that I'd been using in the cottage into the caravan. It was almost brand new and has plenty of space and the bottom section is a freezer, so very useful for freezing meat and making ice blocks for cold drinks and anything else that you want to freeze. The fridge runs on 220 volts only. My plan was to stay at caravan parks wherever I go, and these always supplied 220 volt power, so I figured that fitting the fridge should be okay. And it has been. There's nothing nicer than having space in the fridge for whatever you need to keep cold. I did all the work myself, and at the end was surprised at how little it had cost me. The caravan upgrade, including hot water heater, plumbing supplies, paint, and all the screws and other things that you need came to around 16,000 Rand, which is about 1,000 US dollars, and I thought that was quite a cheap price. I was learning as I went along, going down to the various hardware and electrical stores with my little plan and asking the guys who work there how they would do something. You get a different view on the project and often the other idea is better or will work well with your plan. I also watch lots of YouTube videos. There's so much inspiration around these days and so many gifted people who often provide you with a solution that's just perfect for you. For hot water, I decided to buy a 15 liter electric system. It's small and light and I thought that it would fit the space that I had in mind for it perfectly. I installed it near the fridge on the left of the caravan and did the plumbing myself. I ran water underneath the caravan to supply hot and cold water to the basin and to the shower, and it works very well. It's lovely to be able to wash your hands in warm water on a cold winter morning, or to have a hot shower inside the caravan on an evening when it's quite cold outside. I'll do a separate video on the plumbing system that I installed and how I did it to demonstrate the process fully. I had intended to put down a new floor. But after giving it some thought, I decided to use the existing linoleum, at least for a while. The caravan builders had laid linoleum across the entire base of the caravan and installed all of the other fittings on top of the linoleum. This makes a lot of sense as it provides a complete water barrier for the wooden floor, protecting it from rotting over time. Stripping a caravan like this is a very good learning exercise as you become familiar with all the little nooks and crannies in your caravan. I was very happy to find that there was no wood rot, or leaks, or anything wrong with the caravan. The seller had been honest and sold me a caravan in very good condition, at what I now realized was a very good price. Once the interior upgrade was complete, it was almost time to go, and I had a few weeks to wait before I could embark on my new life and my new adventure, which I'll tell you about in the next video. Please subscribe if you like this adventure and ring the little bell if you want to be informed of new videos when I release them. If you like these videos and would like to see more of them, please consider becoming a channel patron with a small donation for every video that I release. Just click on the patron link in the comments section below the video.